It's a day more to go for the new month to begin, but there is utter confusion regarding the deduction of EMIs or loan payment installments from the accounts of customers. India's Central Bank, Reserve Bank of India, had asked banks to defer EMI payments by three months on all term loans last week. But uh, up to the bank clause is creating a lot of confusion both for customers and for the banks. Text messages of loan installments due are still being sent to customers. The lockdown hit loan borrowers were relieved after last Friday's communication by the RBI, announcing three months moratorium on EMIs, but with a day to go for the new month and the new EMI cycle to begin. Borrowers still don't know what will happen to their monthly installments and will they be deducted or not. Confusion is in many ways. First of all, customers don't know if there is an automatic moratorium on their loan installments or they need to inform banks about it. Also, how to proceed if customers still want to pay EMIs and is there any benefit for those who are willing to pay EMIs? Also, will the moratorium be counted from March to May or from April to June and will there be additional interest charged on simple interest basis? Customers are also worried as a majority of loan installments become due in the first week of the month and in case banks do not pause standing instructions for debiting bank accounts and the transaction fails, most banks charge a penalty ranging between 200 to 400 rupees. Banking sources attribute the confusion to the absence of instructions from the headquarters on the deferment of the installments. Some banks say they are working on ways to give options to their loan customers and customers will be informed about the options through SMSs or emails in the coming days. Borrowers will also be given an op option to pay loan installments if they want to and these options could be given through a link on the website but bankers also admit an exercise of this scale may take few more days considering the limitations on work as a result of the countrywide lockdown. Also, banks may defer EMI deductions from accounts till a solution is achieved on solving the problem. As the Reserve Bank of India has given the option, quote-unquote, up to the bank, the implementation of the relief package rests with an individual bank. But all banks want to be on the same page regarding the instructions and it's causing delays in finding a unanimous solution as a single customer may have accounts from different banks as well.